What's up, everybody? Bless the crystals. Hell's Wake here. And I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing in this game. We just got the Earth Crystal all fired up and ready to go. That's right. And now, we're just kind of, uh... Well... We don't really have a direction. There hasn't been any NPCs, at least from that I've seen... ...that have given us any direction. So I'm not exactly sure where to go. I can sail around the northern continents, but I don't see... Oh, hold on, I need to switch maps. Northern con... wait. Okay, northern continents. Okay, there are some docks and stuff up here. So, it looks like there's... wait, no, that's... Okay, hold on, I'm sorry, I'm getting confused here. Northern continents. Right. Sorry about that. Okay, northern continents. Looks like they have absolutely zero docks, so... I'm not exactly sure, but it, from the looks of the map, it doesn't look like I'll be able to access any of those land masses from my ship. However, the southeast here on the this area that was previously closed off south of Provoca looks like it should be accessible now. However, before heading over there, which looks like I'll have to access from over here, or up here possibly, I have not explored these areas. So I'm going to be heading there, but first, I need to pick up some gold needles, and also perhaps check around and our old, uh, the old towns that we've been through so far. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go do that. Okay, I did a little bit of errand running, so now we're ready to head to the next destination. I'm back at Melmond here. So the next destination is this spot right down here, which is the next town. And I don't actually have to sail south and all the way around this continent because this wraps around just like so. So I'll just have to go south and then west. I'll pull a Christopher Columbus here and get where I need to go. I'm right on course. Yes, I'm uh, just right about to cross over to the other side of the, of the world here. How is this? Where is this now? Ah, oh, this is exactly where I need to be. Let me switch map here, get a better view. Yep, there we go. Precisely. Okay. I'm pretty sure there are some other places that we can access at this point in the game. And holy smokes, we got some new enemies here. Scorpions. I don't have those in my collection yet, so might as well take these guys out. I will not hesitate to fire you all. Uh, once would be, should be good. Uh, they're on sleep. Why not? Oh wow. These guys are weaker than I thought. Oh well. The scorpions did show up in, um, the marsh cave, so they can't be that strong. At least that'll keep them from poisoning us. I did pick up Asuna when I was back in Elfheim. I bought a, about 10 or... Yeah, about 10 gold needles. I got Asuna for Sage, my wood mage. And I got Ice 2 for Jack. Just expanding my level 4 spell repertoire a little bit. Somebody level up. Okay, as I was saying, I think there are some other places that... We can visit. Okay, new enemy here, Centipede. Obviously they're poisonous. Hmm, I'll just have Jack attack. I'm about to be at the uh, next town soon enough, so I'm gonna use my Asuna charges now. Might as well try some ice too. I have no idea how strong these guys are. Ouch, they're doing some decent damage. Need to give Jack a heal. And Eon. Okay. Oops, wrong one. Eon. There you go. How about some fire? 
you know, maybe bug types are weak to fire. I don't know. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> this is the wrong franchise. Things look pretty gnarly. Much like a real centipede, just lots of little tentacly turned tendrils flying all over the place. Take that, you got crit. Ah, more level ups. Oh, no. All right. What are we, 13 now? 13 now, oh, excellent. Hmm, for some reason I was under the impression that I was level 13 when we breached the Lich. And I keep getting my, my train of thought interrupted by these random battles. So forgive me for that. So yes. <clears throat> there might be other places in the world that I can access at this point, but I'm not really sure. And, and then there's some hill guy gets in this area, and Sage just got a level up as well. But anyway, I think this is supposed to be the intended destination at this point in the game. And this is the town of Crest Lake. And this is the absolute farthest in the game that I've ever been. So from this mo from this moment forward, uh, this is pretty much gonna be. Uh, oh, I don't want to say blind because that would kind of be a lie, because I do have my my maps here to help me navigate the dungeons, which may be cheating. But honestly, I really don't like wandering around in a game that gives me a random encounter for every three steps at times. Rather, really, dang frustrating, and drags it on. Quite some time, so I hope you don't run on me for doing so. Ooh, it's only 200 sleep here. That's nice. Just gonna have a quick refresh. Okay, so let's see what's going on in this town. This is the church. Looks like, yeah. Hello, church. Armor shop, let's check it out. See what we got here. Mithril mail, mithril shield, buckler. Oh, that's something new. It's a small shield that is easy to handle and it's equipable by my red mage. So I'm definitely gonna buy that. Just to give him a little bit of extra defense. Mithril gloves. Eh. I'll probably find some soon enough, honestly. They keep throwing so many gloves at me. Uh, what did I just buy? Ah, yes. Buckler, there you go. What else can we find in this town? Uh, weapon shop. Mithril, 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 Mithril. I could buy a Mithril sword. But for some reason I'm adamant about not doing so. Rip, what's up? Yo, you're asleep. Why is your body doing that when you're asleep? Well, he was traveling. He was probably tired. Let's see what kind of magic is available. Level 6. Stone Oak. Here's Stone. Warp 2. Warp Spot out of Dungeons. This looks really nice. I'm gonna have to get that eventually, but dang if these aren't expensive balls. All oh, hell. Shield 2 is also really nice. That looks really nice, too. Raising the entire party's uh, defensive stats. But, alas, I have no level 6 magic charges. I just acquired level 5. I don't know if that may means I'm behind or uh, or what. Maybe they just give you a lot of the magic early. It seems to be that way. Bolt 3. Ooh, definitely want that. These other ones, however, instant kill spell. I think that's another instant kill spell, both of which have somewhat low accuracy. And I'm pretty sure there's quite a few a bit of enemies in the game that are resistant towards those types of effects, reducing the usefulness of these types of spells. However, if I have a lot of surplus gold, I'll be sure to pick them up and give them a shot just to see how they are. Stun. That's like bind, I suppose. Yeah, I don't see myself picking up that for a long time. Alright, already. What else is here? Church. Buildings. That's it? There's a path over here. What's back here? 
A congregation in the woods. Oh, howdy. What's up, man? Oh, you're Lucan the Prophet. I remember... The very first NPC we ever talked to, or just about, the King and Cornelia mentioned you. Legend and prophecy shall come to pass, or we shall bear witness to it. Our path is set. Is that all you have to say? Okay, what about these other guys? We the Twelve Sages came to this land guided by the stars and prophecies. Earth, fire, water, and wind. The power is yours, I am Captain Planet. I mean, the four crystals shine with the power of each element. But the four fiends of chaos. Fiends of chaos, that's what they're called. Are attempting to seize those elemental forces. One down, three to go. Yeah, I know. At the source of each elemental so force is an altar. The fiends have gone there. Defeat them and place the crystal there. The, ba the crystal will regain its brilliance. The four fiends scheme to gain control of all worlds in both past and future. Well, ain't that something? Jeez. They're not even... Even if they have complete control over the present, that doesn't satisfy them, it seems. The Wind Fiend appeared 400 years ago, the Water Fiend 200 years ago. Together they destroyed the Northern Civilization. Ah, oh, I see. So the next... If the if there's one... One of the... <clears throat> if another... If the... Blah, blah, blah. If the nearest fiend on this continent must be fire, or that is the only remaining one. Holy sh... Mike, I completely lost my mouth right there. The Fire Fiend burns everything in its path. Restore the light of all four crystals and return here. Only then can the mysteries shrouding the disasters be unfolded. Bring the light of the four crystals to us, Light Warriors. Only you can do this. You know, it makes a lot more sense to have come and talk to these people before going and doing the whole Earth Crystal thing. But those centipedes are kind of nasty. Firefiend has slept, long slept within Mount Golg, a volcano west of this town, but now awakens 200 years before prophecy foretold. Destroyed before it destroys everything else. Aha. Firefiend is in Mount Golg. Which I'm picturing to be somewhat like Mount Doom from Ocarina of Time, you know, with Volvagia. Stop. Okay, just stop. It's not Mount Doom. That's Lord of the Rings. You don't even like Lord of the Rings that much. It's Death Mountain, dude. Death Mountain. Got it? Good. Continue. The, the fire dragon inside. I wonder if the fire fiend is a dragon of some sort or something. Well done, light warriors. You've defeated the earth fiend and restored the crystals light. Yes! Thanks for the recognition, finally. Actually, I don't know what I'm complaining about. The entire town of Melmond was all up and blessing the crystals. But by doing so, you have roused the fire fiend from its slumber. Oh, really? So that's what happened. Take this canoe. Okay, and go to Mount Gold. What do I need the canoe for? Okay, dokey. Is that a key item? It's gotta, gotta be. Light boat, good for tra traversing lakes and rivers. Oh, really? Interesting. Let's go try it out. I want to see how that works. I'll just leave town from the north here. So does that mean I can sail straight up? Okay, I'll make a memo save for now. Oh. Let's take a look at the map. Close up one. Yeah, there's a... Oh, okay, I get it now. So, one of these two spots it looks like is Mount Golg. I'm gonna guess this one, because it seems to be a landmass surrounded by water. This one... I'm not sure what that is. It looks more like a like a valley or an alcove of some sort within the mountains. This one, I'm guessing, is where I need to go. And if I follow the map here, I'm gonna have to take this river in my canoe, and go north, and then west. So let's let's do that. Do I what do I do? Do I have to use it? Oh no oh wait. Oh, that's cool. I can just walk right on the water. And it'll turn into a canoe. Whoa, we got some... new enemies. How much you want to guess? They're weak to bolt. Yeah, 
and I'm, I'm using my con my uh, my other controller and it still seems to have this weird finicky input problem so I'm guessing it's a, something to do with the game itself not quite sure ow I filled up on potions when I was uh, doing my little shopping spree. Ow! Holy sh... Damn! That guy's dangerous. Whoa! Come on, controls. Died, croc. How much health do you have? Ouch! Ow, ow. This is a serious jump in, um, enemy toughness here. This crocodile is no joke. Yeah. No! No, 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 don't run away. Eon, you better stay. Stay. My input is really... Okay, thank god. Thank the RNG Jesus. As soon as I talk about the input error, it just happens like over and over again. I think we can take these piranhas out, no problem. Ow. Kind of feeling the pressure here. Only step one foot outside of town, and uh, we're already running into a little bit of a uh, trouble here. Take that. Tear it down. Wow, that's a lot of gill. That's a lot of gill. Okay. I have a hunch that I'm gonna need. A little bit more supplies. If we're gonna be facing things like this. Go to the item shop. I'm gonna buy some cottages. No, not ten. I'll buy mm, three. Yeah, I have five cottages now. That's plenty. And I'm gonna hit the inn again. Game's starting to feel rather resource management intensive. Enemies on land are still quite easy to take on. Troll and Minotaur, nothing really dangerous. Only hitting my black mage for nine damage. Okay, what did I say? North here? North here. Okay. What's it gonna be? Oh wow, this does not look cool. Okay, that's... Okay, the last crocodile was just a... It was a white croc. This is just a regular croc. Go with, uh... I wish my white mage could do something useful that didn't waste my spells and wasn't a physical attack. It's useless. Bolt to... Ow. Okay, the croc is still powerful, but not quite. Ow. No, no, no. Wow, those guys are... Uh, pretty damn tough. Ooh, I should equip the Coral Sword. I don't have that, don't I? Well, is that... Is it... Would that take up a turn if I did that? I don't have the... Who has the Coral Sword? Don't I have the Coral Sword? Am I insane? I could have sworn. We picked up the... Coral. I'm, I think I'm insane. I don't know. The Coral Sword I know is... A sword in this game that is has the element of lightning 
making it strong against enemies like this, supposedly. Oh, I definitely need to heal Eon. Damn, these guys are uh, posing quite a challenge. Please die. Ah, woo! Boom, take that, Hydra. All right. Probably gonna use all my bolt spells by the time I get to um, Mount Golg. Okay, these guys aren't too terrible. The Hydra, actually, the Crocodile was actually more damn damaging than the Hydra here, and the Hydra looked much more intimidating. Should have tried a sleep spell. Or maybe a bind. I'll try that next time. Against those highly damaging enemies. Let's check the collection and, and, and see what exactly we're phasing here. Collection, bestiary. Scorpion. Oh, and I just. These ones from the last time are still marked as unread. Oh, here we go. New ones, centipede. Lots of XP. Red Piranha. Nothing horrible. Crocodile. It doesn't seem that bad. Weakness Bolt, but it still didn't seem to do that much damage. What's the deal? Oh, I guess it's that freaking magic defense. Look at that. 100. Why is that fair, man? Why do they design it like that? Why is the magic defense almost 10 times higher? than the regular defense. Man, that white croc. 56 attack, that's almost as much as that Noma, which, honestly, isn't that much. Hydra, 30. Mm. Not too tough, but still kind of imposing. It's north here, I think. I keep losing track of what I'm doing. Okay. I go right here, and then up, and then left. Oh, I can already see that that's a dead end. I'm overthinking this a little bit too much, aren't I? I'm just trying to be careful. Oh man, look how tiny, I just noticed how tiny that sprite is, but you can see the little guy in the, in the rowboat with his head bobbing and his arms pulling the, oh my goodness, what the hell is that thing? I don't like the look of it. I'm just going to use a haste. And I probably need some cures somewhere. Yeah, Jack. Bolt 2. You're in the water, so you're going to get electrified. Eon, use Thunderbolt. Okay, never mind. Haste was kind of a waste. He looked... He looked like a monster, man. I don't know. I was scared. It's okay. Uh, we're making we're making boatload. <clears throat> no pun intended, but we're making boatloads of money here in the river. Wow. Wait a second. I am not insane. Look, Jack has the coral sword. Hello. For some reason, I thought he was using rune blade. My uh. I guess my memory has failed me. Okay. We made it off the river. And that looks like a half of all volcano to me. Seriously? Cheap ass crap like that's here? I like that background though. Bye. Cool, so we made it to Mount Golg. I think... Hmm. Should I use a cottage yet? Is the question. No, I'm gonna use a sleep. I'm gonna use my sleeping bag. That'll restore my HP. I still have plenty of spells. I'm not sure the layout of this dungeon and if it's conducive to uh, 
entering and exiting, or if it's going to be very long and deep, making it difficult to backtrack outwards. Okay, so what I understand about this dungeon is that I have to walk on the lava and that's gonna damage all my, my party. But there's really no way around it. Ow, ow, ow. Hot, hot lava! Owie. Okay, let's see what kind of enemies we have in here. Horned Devils. Well, you look like gargoyles to me. I bet you're weak to ice. Yeah, ice. Jack, why are you so weak? I'm just gonna check everything out, I guess, and then... I don't know. I'm gonna dip my toes into this dungeon, and then exit before I die. Holy crap, that didn't do Jack. Jack, that didn't do Jack. Is that all you got? Four hits, that's a lot, but, you know. Um, excuse me, can you take some more damage than, like, nothing? Try some more Ice 1. I wish Ice 1... I wish, like, the level 1 spells were more useful than, like, the very, 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 very beginning of the game. Like, that is, like, I, I, assuming that he's even, like, even if he's not weak to it, that's still pathetically low. If he is weak to it, then I am just absolutely shaking my head like, man. I mean, I'll use it anyway. Okay, good crit. Take him down. Seems like these guys have high defense, but not a whole lot of HP, so it's kind of a trade-off. Makes them seem stronger than they are. Go down, you. Go down. Two hits, two damage. Good job, Eon. I mean, yeah, these guys definitely have a lot of like, defense. Their, their physical attack isn't much either, but that, that fire attack he did seemed to do a decent amount. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm not very prepared for this mentally. So, I hope that it, everything goes okay here. Okay, I'm going to take a look at my map here. Oh, th isn't this an interesting looking floor? Oh, this is perfect. Okay, I got it. I got the plan here. Okay, so this floor, basically, if I follow this lava-filled hallway to the left, I'll find the staircase to the next floor. But through this doorway is a very large series of corridors filled with a lot of treasure. So I'll probably spend most of my resources trying to collect all of this. Oh my god! Let's see if I can run away. Okay. I'm running away from that. That is like no joke. Right there. Might as well use Asuna. I don't... I don't uh, think there will be many ice using enemies in this dungeon. However, no fire might come into great effect here. Let's see what we got here. Perhaps a... Oh. Yep, a fixed encounter with an, a fire elemental. He's called a Pyros. Freaking fantastic. Let's do haste. And I want to do no fire just in case. And what else? 
Oh, I have fire three. I remember that. Let's see. Ice two. It's probably weak to ice. Let's try ice two. Would have been very nice to get the haste cast on him first. I don't know why my warrior is going first. He's supposed to be the slowest character in my group. He has the lowest agility. Okay, well, that wasn't much, but... Some, ugh! That was hurtful. That looks cool. I really like the spell animations. Jack. Um... Yeah, go ahead and cure yourself. I'm out of cure twos on my white mage already. That's not good. My red, my black mage can't really do sh much without spending his very, his very precious high level magic points. So let's try and make a dent. Okay, never mind. Huh, that's it. What's my treasure? Mithril helm. Don't I already have one of those? Yeah, I do. Okay, whatever. I'll just sell it. Config collection bestiary. Find that Pyros. Horn Devil. Sure, check it out. 32 defense. That's not very high, but it seemed high. He wasn't taking much physical damage. Yeah, he has almost no attack. I guess his only real threat from this these guys are is that flame attack. Pyros, 50 attack. Wait, that's less than the Noma. The Noma had like 60 or 70. HP, it's about the same as the Noma. Hmm. I am like confused as to the design of where they placed the powerful enemies in this game, because the river? That was treacherous as all heck. But the enemies in here, thankfully, actually, don't seem to be quite as powerful. Potions? Hmm, maybe I should save them. Cure 2. You definitely need Cure 2. You know, I am gonna... try and save my charges. So maybe I'll top off a little bit with some potions. Okay. Keep myself a comfortable level. Let's see. There's another treasure down here. Let me guess another fixed encounter. Yes. Just attack it. I think we'll be fine. Hey, that wasn't bad. 66. Ouch. That was hurt. Please don't hit my mage in the back row. I don't like that. Alright, you need your two. Actually, you're not... She's not really in danger of dying in one hit, so I'm just gonna go with cure one and have him attack. Ow. I did more damage than I did to my white mage. What's up with that? Getting lots of gill. Yeah. Mini gill. And 10 potions down already. They just go so quickly. Okay, that was just some Hilgigas and some Lizards, no problem there, running away. Ditto for that one. Okay, let's see. Looks like I should pick up the one on the left here first. That's the third time in a row, Hilgigas and Lizards. And more Hilgigas. I'm gonna need to heal up after that one. Let me see if I can just use my spell charges. Either I'm getting lucky so far, or this dungeon doesn't have that many... Uh, powerful enemies in it, but I'm probably just getting lucky. Okay, so there goes all my cure ones. I'm gonna save those cure twos for in battle. Let's see what we got here in this dungeon. I mean, this chest and this fixed encounter. Two pyros. Wow. Gonna go with ice two. Wish I had shield to 
gonna do two ice twos. Wow, two one on that guy. That was amazing. I don't like the range on that. That is way too big of a range. I wish these spells were more consistent. Boom, come on, take him out. One down. Cure two is needed over there. Invis, silence. Oh, what can I do? I can invis Eon, so perhaps he won't die if he gets targeted again. really oh well ain't that a strange happening he tagged me and he missed but I didn't cast evasion spell claymore a sword is it claymore Woo! upgrade sword effective against giants okay I can get down with that I knew there was going to be some more weapons here. Oh, another battle of four centipedes. Luckily, I'm not having too much trouble running away from them. Okay, let me guess. You want to stone me. Oh, that's probably not going to be crap. Um... I wish Jack had Bolt 2 now. I don't know why I gave him Pine instead of Bolt 2. Wow, that sword is cool. It looks like the broad sword, honestly. Boom. Okay, these guys, as I expected, don't have a whole lot of health. Much like the, uh... What do you call them? Cockatrice. Which is why I opted not to run away. I wanted to add them to the collection. Oh, huh, that was a group of great ooze. Haven't seen those guys since the Marsh Cave. More horned devils I just ran away from those guys. Oh man, let me, let me pass enemies, there's just too many enemies. I'm really starting to see the benefit of having a thief in your party. Because running away is actually really, 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 really helpful. Alright, um, right here, two more treasures, and, ow, I just got toasted by a group of, uh, horned devils. I fixed encounter, no doubt. I think he's he the first one that's leveling up now. Wow, that's incredible. Eon is in the forefront of the experience race. Treasure, and Gil. More Gil. Okay, now I need to head south, and it seems like there's an ass load of treasure chests down here. Boom! Look at all them treasures. Probably a fixed encounter guarding the whole room. I'm willing to bet that there's another one right to the left of that. I'm gonna have to fight them on the way back out. Mithril gloves. Hey, what did I say, man? I knew I was gonna get some mithril gloves. This game just likes to throw gloves at and helmets at you. Definitely welcome. Helm, a third mithril helm. Jeez, I haven't bought a single one. I have three. Ocean tent, Gill. Okay, this is a fixed encounter for sure. Lava worm. Hmm. Steel. Invis. And this is a bummer, I just got Fire 3 and I can't really use it, because all the enemies in here are uh, fire-based. Actually, I am I know there's weakness, but I'm not sure if there's a resistance implemented in this game. I really don't know. Nice crit, Eon. This guy looks like the, um, the giant thing that comes out of the meteor in, in Star Wars. Tries to eat the Millennium Falcon. Actually, it does eat the Millennium Falcon. 
or uh, something like that. Ice crit. All right, he's not too bad. Doesn't really give a whole lot of gill though. There's some gill, antidote, more gill. Man, there's a ton of money here. I almost got burned. Keep myself at about 200 HP. Mithril Axe. Mithril Shield. Another one. Potion. Wow, wow, wow. Lots of stuff. Okay, now I'm gonna... Backtrack to the exit so I can use a cottage and get back to full strength here. So I'll see you guys on the outside. Whew. Alright, that wasn't too bad. But let's have a rest. A much deserved rest.